I'm Jordan Shade with Groovy M Media. I'm here to tell you about the Cam Loops Blazer Training Camp happening August 29th, September 2nd. And you can be a part of Blazer Nation. Before we get into that, I do want to give a quick shout out to Experience 50 Plus Group. Make sure to visit their website at www.experiencegroup.ca. They've got four editions. And thank you very much for your fantastic support. Now let's talk about the Blazers. The Kamloops Blazers are ready. They're ready for their home opener, which is set to take place. Uh, Portland Winterhawks, and that's happening September 20th at the Sandman Center. As the Blazers are looking to rebuild, and they've shipped some players off, acquired some, got some picks, and of course, um, they're looking to shape their team and uh, what uh, is to be probably the the best uh, best young players that are competing for positions is there's a lot has opened up there. So it's going to give a lot more of the, um, the, the young players and the ones that have been um, drafted into the WHL to compete for a spot on the Blazers roster. Kamloops uh, last year didn't have such a good season. It was kind of like a... a a bad slope that happened after January, losing a lot of games in a row. The Blazers, of course, uh, shipped one of their uh, players off and in a trade, um, and now they're they're looking uh, to have a rebuild season. But the last time the Kamloops Blazers had a rebuild season, they actually went quite far, and um, of course. With uh, Logan Stankoven at the Dallas Stars, uh, that is a great blazer as well. We can see that the um, that the coaching staff this year are are going to be looking for much more and and just looking at what they've done. Season ticket holders should be really, really excited because um, you know there is. The great potential here with these young, with these young season ticket holders, and um, I, I can tell you right now, looking at some of the um, signed players, like um, they've got a really great one. They got Ellie Turdovsky. Uh, they've uh, got um, they've got. Um, uh, you know, just looking at some of uh, uh, them is, is pretty impressive. And um, some of the players that have come from the Kamloops Blazer organization there have turned out to be really good, um, really good uh, stars in the NHL when they've gotten their time. They've really shined. And if you look at Logan Stankoven there, uh, was in the Western Final with the Dallas Stars there facing the Edmonton Oilers. Uh, that was probably his best. And he was really impressive in, um, you know, making sure that he gave it his all there. And he tried. And, uh, you know, so, I mean, we, we look we look at... Um, like, we got Cole Secord. He's a forward. Uh, we've got Madden uh, time check a defenseman there. Um, I'm looking at some of these other players. Um, we got Joe Quinn Guerras, uh, and then of course, uh, you know, we've got uh, Leighton Feast, and so we are looking at a lot of these. Um, we got Asher Gengris. Asher Gengris is amazing. We've got forward Oren uh, Shatorm. And, you know, it, it goes on and on and on and on. And if you look at them uh, with, um, with some of uh, the other names that have been traded away and picks and everything like that to improve the Kamloops Blazers squad, uh, those hockey players have a. Um, those hockey players are going to step up, and they're and we're going to see an excellent Kamloops Blazer training camp, uh, probably one of the top, 
one of the top five because there are so there's so much talent. Looking at some of these players' stats uh, from their um, college days and uh, bef- you know growing up there, and wow, just wicked! Like I'm I'm looking forward to um, to seeing some of these uh, players there, and some of the names that I did mention there, uh, like a couple of them, I I think have a chance to crack the roster. But again, it's all about what Kamloops is looking for. Are they going to make another trade? Are they are they going? Do they have an ace up their sleeve that they are going to pull a trade and get a good all star player back? They got rid of one. That's not meaning that they they're going to pull that trigger, and they're going to um, uh, by all means me, uh, going to uh, make a huge. But it could help. And and their goaltending situation was pretty was pretty weak last year. I have to say it was actually it was miserable. Um, so I'm I'm hoping that's what the Blazers will focus on is improving their goaltending, or maybe there's a great young goaltender that is gonna uh, that's gonna shine at their training camp August 29th to uh, September 2nd. It, it, this is this is really a chance to showcase what some of those young kids can do and uh, try and be the next Connor McDavid or Sidney Crosby, Wayne Gretzky or Mario Lemieux. Um, you never know. And like I said, uh, we've seen some great uh, players from the Kamloops Blazers they they usually do. They usually wait uh, to see when all the other teams make the cut and go and get that player, and then they trade for him, and they got their player that they want, and he turns out to be that star, and then moves on. Like if you look at it, Logan Stankoven there, he just literally in the playoffs this year with Dallas, it was incredible, and he played out his his term there. He could have probably come back. To the WHL, but then he wouldn't. He would have had to forego uh, playing for the Dallas Stars. So instead, he took playing with the Dallas Stars, which was a great move on his part. There, the Kamloops Blazers have, have known under Don Hay, under many other leaderships that have their have, have not only a great ownership, a great coaching core, but also they know how to work with individuals there and i'm curious and i'm i'm, I'm going to be probably go check out a game and uh, see the blazers play i'm jordan shade with groovy letting you know about the camels blazers training camp and what kind of prospects are going to be there and you can make sure to do hashtag blazer nation and get your jerseys and also season tickets are also available uh, are also available so you can contact the appropriate person there and uh, the you know feel free maybe to go to the Sandman Center to watch training camp August 29th to September 2nd in Kamloops British Columbia have a good rest of your day <laughs>